on June 14th, Zamir continues its exploration of the beauty and variety of musical settings of the biblical psalms. Our concert includes music that is meditative and music that is exciting, compositions by Jews and by Christians, music from Syria, Italy, France, Wales, Germany, and America, music that is old and music that is new, including the premiere of a work composed just for this concert by our honoree, Robert Snyder. Our program begins with Psalm 121. I raise my eyes to the hills. Where is the source of my help? First, we hear the psalm as chanted antiphonally in an ancient cantillation from the Jews of Syria. <laughs> Then, Psalm 121, in a setting by Salomone Rossi, in the style of the early Italian Baroque. <laughs> The same text is treated by 19th century composer Felix Mendelssohn in excerpts from his oratorio, Elijah. Then we turn to Psalm 150, in which all living things are heard in joyous praise of God. The first setting by Zamir alumna cantor Benji Ellen Schiller features the rhythms and modes inspired by the soundscape of the Middle East. <laughs> Psalm 150 is also the jubilant ending from an oratorio by the great French Impressionist composer Claude Debussy. Simon Sargon, a native of Winthrop, Massachusetts, composed his Hallel in the year 2000 for the 125th anniversary of Temple Emmanuel of Dallas, Texas, where he was the music director. Robert Snyder's love for American jazz comes through in his brilliant setting of words from the first psalm in the composer's own translation. The ebullient rhythms and bold harmonies portray the joy of the faith personified in the text. In 2009, Zamir commissioned the 16-year-old Jeremiah Klarman to compose Hallel Shir V'or. It has remained one of our favorite pieces over the years. Jeremiah is now 24 years old, and he'll be at the piano for the performance.
It's about time. This psalm challenges us to think about the meaning of our hours, days, and years. In a sense, the span of human life is but a blink in the context of eternity. But how do we spend our time? After the dark times, will we rise again into light? Psalm 90 ends with the wish that we might become attuned to the beauty of God and to the works of God, and a wish that we might also create works of sublime and long-lasting beauty. The setting by Charles Ives is truly transcendent. It's one of my favorite compositions, and we've prepared an additional podcast just to introduce you to Ives and his composition. Chichester Psalms may be the most frequently performed choral orchestral work of the 20th century. It deals with joyous celebration, the conflict between innocence of faith and savage aggression, and finally, humility and harmony and peace. We've also prepared an additional podcast about Bernstein and his Chichester Psalms. Carl Jenkins is a Welsh composer who has written music in so many styles, from rock to ethnic to minimalism to primitivism. In this setting of Psalm 150, in its original Hebrew, one can hear Jenkins' signature primeval-sounding harmonies, declamatory choral style, and pounding drummed rhythms. So do join us on June 14 for this truly awesome concert. You can visit www.zamir.org to order your tickets. See you there.